Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your mid-month reading for you for the sign of um, Libra. How are you Libras? Welcome to my chat. We're going to be doing something a little different here. Just go with the flow because that's what I'm doing. Going with the flow. Whatever spirit tell me to do, that's what I do. This is going to be a little different. Okay? So... Hope you enjoy it. Welcome. And don't forget you guys out there who wants a quick question. You can reach me on Instant Go. Instant Go. And it's the link is below in the description field where you can see uh, all you have to do is click on it and it'll take you to my Instant Go app. And you can ask me a quick question and I'll be able to give, give you an answer right away. I can also do a video uh, for you, a videotape, um, and I can do... Um, text or with a quick answer with a question or whatever you want to do it and we can also do phone calls you can also call me on there too and uh, once you get onto my app it'll show the rates there of, of what it will be that's for you guys that has an iOS system which is a iPad or I, uh, iPhone uh, you can always use somebody else's if you'd like you know to do it is you know all you have to do is download go, go to play school play store not the play store my bad. They ain't out on uh, Android yet, but it is coming out this year, so um, just look out for it coming out on Android. It will be announced, okay? But it is on, um, go to your um, iOS system where you uh, uh, app store and download the Instant Go app, and then you will click on my um, uh, link and you can reach me there for you guys okay so don't forget that that's available too or else you can just you know get yourself a personal private reading the normal way and the link is below there how you can reach me okay along with my phone number all that stuff and here we go we're just going to get right on into it okay for the sign of libra let's see you know what's going on with the signs is basically what um, Spirit is telling me, you know, to talk to you about. What's really going on? What's going to be happening in this new millennium? Mani millennium? <laughs> this new phase, this new um, opportunity that is offered to everyone right now because we are in the fifth dimension, okay? The age of Aquarius that brings on all these good things, all these good things. So we have to let the old stuff go. We got to let all that go in order to come into this new age. And then I feel that's what spirit want me to talk to you guys about, you know, and love is going to be in here as well. So enjoy. Okay. So here we go. Right off the bat. This is from for sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Okay. No gender on the, um, the court cards because male and females watching. Y'all know the, the drill by now. Okay. So the beginning, we got the, um, the four of swords for you Libras out there. Now, this may not resonate with everybody. As I always say, if it doesn't resonate, you know, just, you know, keep it moving. No worry. Maybe next month or, or you know, maybe you'll find it in your other areas of your signs. You know, just look at those. They may have some messages for you. Okay. Um, but with the four of swords is in reverse. And this talks about truth, you know, but it's in reverse. So this is telling me for some of you Libras out there, you're, you're still in battle with somebody. You know, if it was this way, it would be like, you know, you want truth, truce, you want peace, you know, you want to make up or something like that. But it's in reverse. It's like you don't want you don't want some peace with someone because this this is your energy or you don't have peace with inside yourself or you're not facing the truth with inside yourself for some of you out there. You, you know, it, Four of Swords is all about, an upright is about relaxation. It's about, you know, releasing your burdens, letting your burdens fall aside. But in reverse, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Spirit suggests that you turn this card right side up and, you know, kind of, you know, release your burdens. Put your burdens down. Stop, you know, um being so hard on yourself or stop being so hard on someone else, okay? Kind of like lay your burdens down, call it a truce, let it go. Whatever it is, you need to let it go. You're holding on to something here with it in reverse. Let it go, all right? Whatever it is on your mind. Wow, you got the chariot in reverse, Libra. What's going on here? So you're supposed to be moving forward with it, you know, upright. It's moving forward. It's like new beginnings. It's like a great card to have in your reading and it still can be great if you listen to spirit and and you know and and turn it right side up 
Right now, you're at the you're right now. A lot of you Libras are I'm not saying all of you, but some of you are in a period to where you you don't want you you, you can't move forward. There's something stopping you from moving forward. And you need to turn this up right. So it can be a great card for you. You're, you're in stagnation, a lot of you Libras. You're in stagnation right now. You're in self-denial. Something that you're, you don't want to let go of. But you're supposed to be moving forward. This chariot card is not supposed to be in reverse. But spirit is trying to tell you something. Get it and get it upright. Get the moving. You know, get out of stagnation and face um, what you need to face. Deal with what you have to deal with. Okay, now you got the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Is something that you're holding on to, uh, is something got to do maybe with finances, your finances? But this was in reverse as well, okay? Your finances, something, your finances may be draining and maybe that's why you can't move forward or there's somebody in your life that you're draining or you know or may be attached to or something and you want to grow with them but it they, it's not happening it's not happening that's why these cards are coming up in reverse you need to you need to turn them right side up and just let go of this situation that you're trying to hold on to uh libra Okay, that's the suggestion of your spirit guides, not simply love. Okay, so don't be blaming it on me and get mad at me. Okay, and it could be, um, now this, this first card is all about you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You could be dealing with the chariots about, you could be dealing with a cancer, which is a water sign, or a uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn with this uh, eight of pentacles that's in reverse. That somebody's like refusing something. Um, you may with the four. You got the four of cups here, okay? And the four of cups is talking about um or the four here they call it luxury, okay? Maybe you got maybe you're just too high maintenance. You know, maybe you just want maybe you just want things. Maybe there's something here that you want that you can't have because you, you you know, it's, it may be, you know, like I said, the luxury, maybe you're just looking at the luxury of everything, you know, like the, the material things. And the four of cups is also, you know, um, uh, um, it's like. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus as well that you're dealing with here too. And it could be like a uh, like you might feel um, disappointed or some type of rejection or a missed opportunity of something that was good. And you got the Lovers card here, okay, coming into the last week of uh, of this month. Um, where there has to be a decision, you know, there has to be a decision made here. It's all about choices. There's three people in this card, okay? You got to make a decision about something, some type of union, okay? Some type of union or something you, you need to make a decision on. You're not making it or you need to make it is what Spirit is saying. So you got the priestess or the, you know, use your intuition. Your intuition never fails you, okay? Go within. Find out what you need to make a choice about, okay? So you got the power card, but the power card is in reverse. So there's something here, uh, Libra, there's something going on here where you're not, you're holding on to something or you, you determined it for, with something, but it's not working out in your favor. It's not working it out in your favor. You need to use your intuition. You need to make choices because maybe you have options here. Maybe there's something, 
uh, stagnant because you're not making the right choice or somebody's not making a, a choice about you. And and it, and it all it's going to do is cause failure with the seven of um the seven of disc, which is the um this is a uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You know, this is a failure here. This is not going to work. Okay, whatever it is you're trying to hold on to or grab on to and get, it's it's a failure. They don't somebody don't want to be bothered with somebody. They're just like, it's, don't you get it? If it's you, Libra, doing this or somebody doing this to you, do not do they not get it? Or do you not get it? What's going on here? Spirit is, spirit, spirit is trying to tell you something here. Um, you got some concerning cards, especially this, uh, this chariot that's upside down. What in the heck do you want here? What are you, what are you stagnant? What are you holding on to? You want something from somebody that they can't give you. You want too much. And there's choices here too that you just like, you want so much that you probably got other people involved just to get, you know, what you want, but it's not really working out in your favor because of the choices. And, you know, the high priestess is here, you know, trying to tell you, get it together, you know, use your intuition because this stuff ain't going in your favor. Um, the power, you, you ain't got it the way you think you do. Okay, that power has exhausted itself. It's over-exhausted itself. Whether you're with multiple partners or if it's one partner for some of you, not all of you, if it's not resonating but spirit is talking to somebody out there or some people, some of you Libras out there. It is a failure right now. Unless you get it together, use your intuition because it's not going to, it's not going to go in your favor. Period. Point blank. That's your ending card right there. This is come, you know, general or love. Basically, I do the love. So this is talking love. So um, Libra, come on now. If this is you doing this. You know, turn this chariot right side up. Turn the four of uh, swords right side up. That's your energy where you need to just chill. You know, it's time to chill and release your burdens. Let that shit go, whatever you're holding on to, because it ain't working out for you. And the chariot in reverse is saying you're not moving forward the way you're supposed to be. That chariot's a good card to have. Turn it right side up is what spirit is saying. Get move, get the moving. Start a new beginning. Because holding on is not getting you anywhere. If it's you doing this, whoever you're involved with, maybe several partners here, it's not working out to your advantage. Because um, I feel like you're in it for the money for some of you. And it takes several people to get what you want. Just luxury? What is material things? Material things ain't got nothing to do with love. Nothing to do with love. Nothing. So, Libra, use your intuition. And even if somebody's doing this to you, you use your intuition regarding them. And, you know, um, because if you don't, you know, every, it just, just it's not going to work out. It's a total failure here. And that is right side up. And this one that talks about power, if it was right side up, you're supposed to be having the power. You're supposed to be having control over your life, but you don't. And the reason, and you don't, and it's leading to the, I'm sorry, this is spirit talking. You got a problem, talk to them, not me. Um, it, it's just failing for you right now, for some of you who, who resonates with this. It's a total failure. Whether you're doing this with someone or someone's doing this with you. Now, spirit has laid out the law here. They done told you, here's your help right here. This is your help. You can do something about this. This ain't set in stone, okay? But this is the energies that's going on right now. And I can't do nothing about that. But relay, relay, uh, relay the messages to you of this energy that you're facing right now and what you need to do. I still got some more stuff going on around here for you, uh, Libra. So hold on. Hold on tight, okay? What is it that you want, Libra, male and female, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? Well, let's see. What you want here, you got the two of fire. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. That's what you want. You want to move forward. You know, you want to enter into a new contract or a, a, a study relationship. But you're putting yourself on hold. You're not moving forward with the chariot. But it's showing me that's what you want, spirit. I ask spirit, what do they what what is what do they want? What does what do Libra want? And they saying clearly here that you want you want to move forward, but you're you got to do something about this because it's going to be a complete failure if you don't. Listen to what spirit's got to say. Turn these cards as in reverse upright. You can do it. You can do it. Because that's what you want. That's what spirit's telling me what you want, Libra. If it's not you, it's someone around you. Okay, that's what they want. Possible fire sign. Now, I asked Spirit, what do you need to do? Well, you need to relax. You need to relax. Music is a, a source of relaxation depending on what music you listen to. Okay, be careful with that. But anyway, yeah, you need to relax, listen to music, maybe play some music. If some of you are musicians, you know, get into your music, you know, and soothe yourself. Relax, breathe. It's going to help you to move forward, says spirit. Okay, that's what you need to do. We know what you want, but you're resisting it for some reason, maybe for some other, somebody else or uh, not able to make decisions about, you know, who you want or what you want. And that may be the, the, the problem. You need to, you know, you need to get back in tune with spirit and in touch with your, um, your uh, intuition because it's not on point right now for some of you. But we know what you want. At least we do know that you, what you want. Spirit is speaking. You, they know what you want. I don't. I'm just going by what spirit says and what they advise. What you need to do, Libras. Some of you out there who resonates. If it's not going, you is someone doing it with you. They may need to get this reading because this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Where I'm going to go to next is, who are you? Who are you, Libra? Who are you? Well, Spirit is saying you are the moon child. You're the moon child. You're the child of the moon. Okay, you have intuition. Um, you can see what's going on. There's nothing blind in you. Um, you see they're in a meditative state as well. So they are connected with spirit. This is who you are. Believe that so you can do what you need to do to get what you want, what you need. I should say that your needs, not your wants. We all want a whole bunch of shit. But what we need is what we need is what spirit knows what we need. We just have to get out of our own way. Okay. You are the moon child. So meditate, meditate, moon gaze, okay, moon gaze, you're the moon child, you should be moon gazing, okay, and get all the energies from the moon, we're all part of the uh, universe, okay, and everything around in the universe has an effect on us, that's why, you know, things happen the way they happen a lot of times, you have to be connected in order to know that, so get in touch with, in touch with spirit. Okay, now what's going on, sex? You know, in your mind with sex? You know, I ask spirit sexually. What do you want? Sexually, what are you looking for? Sexually, what's satisfying you? What's what you want satisfied in you within you, Libra? Well, this is your energy. This is air energy. This is you, okay? This is what you are wanting or, or doing. And what you're doing or wanting for some of you, or somebody may be doing this to you, you're being sneaky. You're being per, per, promiscuous. Uh, you're teasing. 
Um, you're using manipulation. This is what spirits say. Not simply love. The spirit saying this. If that's what you like, that's what you like. But guess what? It's failing. It ain't working. Not like that. Just looking at it can tell you what they look at what she's doing. Look at all the men around her. You got a bunch of men or women. You got a, women got a bunch of men and men got a bunch of women. Being flirtatious, being uh, promiscuous. Um, this is Seven of Swords. It's all about lying, cheating, and stealing. Deception. That's what you. You're. That's what sex is to you. Come on now, we got to rethink this, Libra. We got to rethink this whole situation that's going on here. And spirit is definitely helping you out. Definitely. This is not a negative reading. It's, you know, it is what it is. And what needs to be said is going to be said through simply love. If, if, if it's connected with spirit, it's going to be said. Whether you like it or not, we, it's time to face reality now. We're in the fifth dimension. Everything is being exposed for what it truly is. There is help here, though, Libra. There's help here. You can call uh, someone and speak to them, you know, to get some of this energy, some of this negative energy that's going on around some of you. Or, you know, like it could be around you, someone doing this to you or you're, do you're doing this yourself. I'm picking up a lot of it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. But just don't forget who you are. You're the moon child. Don't act like you don't know. You know. You know what you're doing, okay? Because you're the child of the moon. So what's the bottom line of all this, uh, uh, Libra? What's the bottom line of all of this? Well, I am able to experience sexual intimacy with an open heart. You're able to do that. Spirit says so. That's what they see. That's the bottom line. Especially talk about your sexuality here is off point. Off point, Libra. It's, it's way off. That's off right there. And they're, But they're saying, you know, Spirit is saying you can experience a, 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 um, a beautiful sex life if, you know, if you change some things. If you change the way you feel about yourself, maybe. Maybe you don't have enough self-love. Maybe you don't have enough confidence. Maybe, maybe you're just doing things, like I said, for some of you out of just luxury, out of, you know, uh, selfishness, out of getting things that you want. Money. Money. But it's not it's not going your way in if you're going in this direction or somebody else is going in this direction with you. It's not going the what that way. But we're talking about Libra. We're 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 talking about the Libras out here. It's, you know, many of you that spirit can relate to. You can have you can you're able to experience a great sex life with love attached to it not with not with uh money and um not with money and luxury things you know you can you can expand your horizons because this is a total failure if you're going you want to go this direction okay let's see what your love card says this is what it looks like up front libra secret admirer someone has a deeper has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on Okay, so some of y'all got a secret admirer out there, or this they could be talking about you. Okay, maybe you got deeper feelings for somebody. Maybe you are a secret admirer. Maybe you're secretly admiring somebody, or somebody secret really admiring you, but they just not saying nothing. So you got a chance of love here if you want it, but you have to make some changes, Libra, here for some of you. You got to make some changes to get to this where you open your heart, where it's a, a, a soul connection, not just sex at, with money and, 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 and material things to, to, to make it. That's not what's going to do. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for you if you're looking like that. Okay. Okay. Now. 
your affirmation. Let me do give you your affirmation. Your affirmation this is your vortex affirmation, okay? I can get from an unwanted to a wanted relationship. See? See what Spirit is saying? You can get into a relationship where you're wanted instead of being unwanted. You know, instead of being a failure at what you're trying to do and the way you're doing it. Spirit is saying you can change all of this if you want to. You can have a relationship that means something instead of just sex and trying to get something out of it. You're the moon child. You know. You got connection. You can feel it. You know. You're supposed to have more control over yourself than this. With this four, hey, release your burdens. Let go of something that you're trying to hold on to that has left your life. Okay? It's gone. It's time to move on. Cheating is not going to get you anywhere with anybody. I don't care who it is that you're with. Slick, being slick, sneaky with the Seven of Swords, that's not going to get you anywhere. It might for temporarily, but it's not going to, not, no, it's not, not, it's not going to last a lifetime. This need, you need to open up your heart. All right? You need to open your heart up to get the real deal. Not these temporary situations or this in and out or this sneakiness and, and trying to, um, have it all. <laughs> Can't have it all. That's what Spirit's telling me right now. Can't have it all, Libra. Alright. So now that we've been through all this, Spirit has spoken, said what they had to say, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not for you. Maybe check out your other signs. Maybe there's some messages in there for you. But here's your here's what you need to do. Uh, if you need a personal private reading, look below. I'll be glad to read for you or whoever you feel comfortable reading for you and get some of these reverse cards upright so you can get what spirit is saying that you can have. You can have it. It's not a negative reading. It's something to try to turn you around for some of you or something that needs to be turned around in your life for someone else. Maybe you need to let go of something so you can turn your life around. So the end of reading, I asked Spirit, who, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So it's not, some of you is going to be this particular sign for you, but some of you is just going to be in their natal chart. So for the, I asked Spirit for the females, I mean for the males, who their uh, love might, who, who they may end up with as a love partner. And for the uh, men, you may have the Queen of Pentacles, okay, which is going to be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay, for you men, um, Libras out there. Now, for the women Libras out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, it's going to be a, a water sign, okay? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If it's not, some of you are, it's going to be this particular sign, but some of you is just going to, they're going to, it's going to be in their natal chart. Okay. Okay. So, um, thank you so much for viewing. I hope you, uh, enjoyed that, um, mid month reading there. And this was all spirit. Thank you for, um, for being patient and, and going with the flow of this, because that's all I'm doing, going with the flow of it. I don't know where this come from. It came from spirit. That's where it come from. Not me. So Spirit has different things for me to do this year, and they're going to be um, really, really getting down on us because this is the, you know, exposure time. Exposure time. No more hiding. No more running. No more none of that. Either you want it or you don't, and the opportunity is here. It seemed like it's negative. It's not because Spirit is giving you the positive on top of this, where, what you need to do in order to turn this around. It's just that simple. So you guys, I love you. Thank you for the beautiful comments that you've been giving me. I really appreciate it. I'm glad a lot of this is resonating with you and your situations. Thank you all who call for personal private readings. I've been booked up from January all the way to February, working my, working my way into March right now. So if you like a personal private reading, hey, jump on board. I'll be glad to help you out. If you'd like to have a, a personal um, meditation session, just 
email me as usual, call me, whatever you need to do on that point. And we will, you know, set that up for you as well. And it will release a lot of these blockages that's going on in your life, okay? So don't look at anything as being negative. This is spirit speaking. Spirit wants to help. In order to help, they have to bring up the dirt. You know what I'm saying? And we got to face the dirt. And then we got to do something about it. So you guys take care and I'll talk to you uh, next month. Bye-bye.